I have my things together. And I'm taking our son. And we're going to leave now. I was 11 when my dad stopped coming home. And as of right now, they're still uh, going through the divorce settlement papers. Okay, when I was eight, they got separated. And then they finally filed for divorce, like, they finally got divorced, like, signed the papers and everything when I was 17. My mom went through a divorce when I was at five, and then another one when at six, and then two more when I was seven. About eight or nine. This is all my fault. God, no. Why would you think that? A little nervous. Kind of went through the typical, you know, it's my fault. Like, what did I do wrong, sort of thing. And it was really hard for me because I was really confused, always wake up in the morning and ask myself, where's my dad? Or where's my mother? Did mom leave because of me? I was a little young to understand exactly what was going on. I just, I, I remember there was, they were fighting all the time before and then I thought that it was better when they weren't together anymore because they weren't fighting anymore. I never saw them fight after we got, they got separated. Never once saw them fight after that. You used to talk to me. Yeah. And you were too busy hating dad to listen. How I was a big brat and all, I wouldn't go to school for days and weeks. And then uh, it just built up. My freshman year, I didn't go the whole first semester. And then sophomore year, I didn't even go to school. Even though the school that I went to, they, because of the divorce and they knew about it, they actually sent me to the school therapist to make sure I was okay. Where's mom? Just get, get your stuff. She told me she was coming to pick me up today. From what I see, it's really put on him how he just left my mom after 30 years of marriage. Sending a check once a month doesn't exactly make him your father. I remember the only thing that I was really mad about is that I couldn't ride my horse. <laughs> I was really mad because I never got to go home after school and go riding. And then on the weekends I had to spend time with my dad and couldn't spend time with my horse. And I was, I mean, I was like nine years old. I just don't see why we can't spend the extra time with Dad. I have this weird, I, I really don't think my parents were ever really meant to be together. Changes happen and shit happens. It actually made me learn a lot more than what, than what it did for most people, it seems like. I, I actually learned from it and understood even a deeper understanding of like relationships and when I grew up I took that into account. And this, uh, my wife Oksana, she's a boring. <laughs>